What's up everyone? It is the Wendy Witch back with another video. And I am here after Yuletide and after New Year's to do a video on pine. I realized due to Yuletide that I use a lot of pine needles within my craft and I had also realized that I've never done a video on pine. So I figured why not do a video. To start off, pine has 126 different types of species of pine trees. The magical properties, I'm looking down here, because my book's right here, um, the different properties include luck, joy, balance, fertility, long, longevity, I believe I am, I hope I'm saying that correct, which is basically like um, expanding your life, helping you to live longer. It is used for prefer purification, banishment, healing, prosperity, and happiness. I recently used it in um, three spells for my family having to do with protection and health. Um, with COVID going around and everything going on, my sister has been a little bit sick and so has my father, so I did a little bit of magic for the entire house and I used pine within that magic to bring health and to um, protect them from further illness. Health properties. Um, for those who do not know, pine and pine needles are anti-inflammatory. They are for those purposes. I'm not exactly sure how to use them for those purposes, but I know that they are um, anti-inflammatory. I believe I'm saying that right. Um, pine needles contain vitamin C. Um, they can. They are used and they can and are used uh, to um, help with muscle aches so you could probably um, make like an oil out of them and use it for muscle aches um, they help with joint pain so just as that you can also use it for joint pain you can put it in like one of them those perfume rollers and you can roll it either on your joints or your muscles that hurt the resin can help remove splinters. This is one that I did not know. For those who know, I, um, I Google everything having to do with these topics, and I also look through my books. One of the interesting things I found is that the resin actually helps to loosen and bring out splinters. That is very useful because I have a lot of them. <laughs> um, it contains antioxidants. So that is very useful. It kind of, you know, two of the bigger things, it's anti-inflammatory and it contains antioxidants. The deities associated with pine needles are Pan, Diana, and bear with me now, Back. Bacchus, B-A-C-C-U-S, I have no clue. I looked it up and I believe it is a counterpart to Dionysus. Um, so yes. The zodiac is Aries and Scorpio. It is a air element and goes with the planet Mars. The more gender specific used with pine is masculine. But I believe that everything is both masculine and feminine. And obviously you don't have to be just masculine to use that item. Um, crystals that are like represented by pine and have the same energies and properties as pine include citrine, pyrite, and moonstone. I am flipping the page. Pine means pit or resin. This was from, I believe, either Spanish or European. Um, so yes, uh, pine means pit or resin. You can burn pine or pine cones to protect your hearth. I believe it can also bring good health within your home. If you burn it, the smoke you can let travel throughout your home, or you can burn it as in place of incense and use like a feather or whatever you choose to spread it around your home to bring protection and health. 
you can use pine branches in place of a cinnamon broom. This was one of the interesting things that I found. Instead of using a cinnamon broom, which for those who know a cinnamon broom is a handmade broom that you use to um, clean or sweep out negative energy or stale energy within a space. And I found it really cool with the fact that you can um, kind of use um, pine branches in place of cinnamon brooms because I knew I know cinnamon brooms are pretty costly. I personally think it is amazing how much you can use pine for and having not many pine trees around that I know of it is really great to see how you can use a Christmas tree after you get rid of it. We just got rid of our Christmas tree I think yesterday and I trimmed it beforehand so I have two gigantic jars full of pine that will probably last me half a year to a full year. And uh, being that I use it so much, it is very great. It is abundant for protection. You could probably even add it to a circle or sweep a circle with the um, pine broom, pine branch or whatever. And you could probably use that as more of a protection too. I'm sure you could use the branches of pine to represent and help you lay out the circle if you found, find curved pieces. And that will probably also bring more protection. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry that it is shorter. Most of these videos are. I know the next video on eggshells will probably sh be short as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry if the camera quality is worse. I am using a different tablet. But yes, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope you have learned a little bit more about Pine. Bye guys.